Let's work on the concept of long run production now and we're gonna associate this topic with the topic of consumer behavior and we're gonna see the analogy. So now in the long run we also use capital and labor but because we're in the long run we have already obsoleted the machine that we bought in the short run so to speak and now we are able to change it, we are able to invest in new machine, in new equipment. So in the long run it's a wise assumption to make that the capital is able to vary. And of course employees, the labor is also varying because we can always hire and fire people. So both, both factors, and how do we call the factors? Let's give some terminology here. Well this is a function which gives us an output, a result from an input. So these factors we're gonna call inputs inputs and the production itself is going to be output so it's going to be output meaning that the inputs vary so we have variable inputs over here in the long run now what we have here is a relationship between capital and labor and we have this curve which shows us that we have a production of 10 units now let's just be a bit more practical let's suppose we're producing cars so we have a production of 10 cars that we can make with capital and labor now this curve over here is going to show us the combinations of, of capital and labor that's going to give us 10 cars in production. So this is going to be the set of combinations that's going to give the same, the, uh, set, the set of combinations of inputs that's going to give the same output. So let's just write that real quick over here. Uh, set, of, set of inputs that give the same output that give the same output the same output and we call this the isoquant so we call this an isoquant uh, isoquant iso I think it means the same uh, or f yeah the same so same uh, same level of quantity for different for different uh, combinations of capital and labor now the analogy over here recall the consumer behavior where we had combinations between two goods we could vary them as well to have the same level of utility so these were the combinations of apples and bananas that give us the same utility and now we have the same set of inputs that give us the same output so we go from consumer to company by by, by thinking in the same rational way we're always trading something for something else when we're trying to get a result and the result here is the output of the company here the result was the utility the happiness of ourselves of the consumer so we got that now what matters here as well recall that we have this notion of marginal marginal thinking in economics and just like we had a marginal rate of substitution over here we had a marginal rate of technical substitution which is gonna be the same analogy as well so just like we had just like we had a marginal rate of substitution over here with the consumer behavior when we get to the company behavior to the firm behavior we're going to have the notion of marginal rate of technical substitution and we're going to discuss this in the next video